have always had a heart for the military, and as a country music singer, I have gotten to meet a lot of our brave men and women and the cutest little four-legged servers as well. Since 1945, the American Humane Association has been working with our military, their families, and our dogs to do everything they can do for them in war as well as peacetime. So tonight, please meet our evening's first extraordinary hero. He is our military working dog, Gabe. Gabe originally came from a uh, pound in Houston. Gabe was brand new, never did anything with the military, so he didn't even know how to sit. Focus. He's trained to work off leash, so every day you're doing obedience with him. Focus. And then you're learning how to detect the different odors of explosives and weapons and ammunition. Well, it's a tremendous team. You could tell that Sergeant Shuck loves Gabe and Gabe loves Sergeant Shuck. Uh, the bond between Senior Shuck and Gabe is more like father to son, in my opinion. Gabe ended up being a rock star at the final evaluation, and my commander called me and said, hey, I need you to get on a plane and deploy to Iraq, and I'm like, let's do it. We did a total of 210 missions in the year we were there. We did anything from raids on houses to traffic control points searching vehicles for car bombs. In the year we were there, Gabe had a total of 26 fines, which was the most of any dog in the theater. Gabe was a trooper. He would keep pushing and pushing and pushing. He is tremendously skilled at finding explosives, so I appreciate having him out in front of me. Soldiers on foot with metal detectors, it can take them an hour to search a field that Gabe can search in five, ten minutes. See? So these dogs are in a dangerous situation. It's not a sterile environment. Every day in Iraq is dangerous for Gabe. Anytime you go outside the wire, you have the potential to be killed. You know, we were there to do a job, and that was to find bombs, find weapons, find anything hidden. Finding 36 mortar rounds is potentially 36 IEDs. Just that one find could have saved potentially 150 soldiers' lives. What you don't know sometimes is what you're deterring, what you're stopping from happening. But you do know the catastrophic effect that these improvised explosive devices have on people and when you can find them before they find you you certainly ought to assume that you're saving lives just amazing the lives that, that Gabe probably saved undoubtedly saved Gabe was a military working dog out finding bombs but he was also able to give the soldiers a piece of home we always worked with this group of soldiers called one bravo we went out on a whole lot of missions with these guys and it was like our second family just sometimes when we were on a mission we were able to go over to them units and just let Gabe be a dog and give the soldiers just some time just to play with Gabe so every time he turned around senior Shuck and Gabe were getting called to the front lines they were getting called on missions because they were dependent on and they were trusted having them on your team gonna keep your soldiers alive. When we lost a few of them, it was it got hard. Because sometimes we weren't on the missions with them. And you're just like, well, what if we were there? Could we have saved them? It's hard to go to the memorial services, you know, because you work with these guys every day. How many memorial services didn't happen because of the stuff Gabe found? And even though Gabe is retired, he's continuing his heroic acts now. And now we're out there talking to children about respect, staying in school, and, and being a good citizen. So he's still serving. Gabe is a hero because he saved soldiers' lives. For 13 months, he went out there and found stuff that the bad guys were trying to kill American soldiers with. For his bravery, for his selfless service, for his loyalty, Gabe is a tremendous hero and example for all of us. Accepting the award for Gabe tonight, we have Sergeant Chuck Chuck. Wow, thank you. We first want to thank the American Humane Association and Robin and the Hero Dog Awards for this most humbling experience. You know, we're so proud to represent the armed forces. While we're sitting here, there's hundreds of dogs on missions right now, finding the bad stuff before the bad stuff finds American soldiers. So. And last, we just want to honor last year's military dog winner, Bino. He passed away this past year. And we just want to follow in his paw steps and keep doing great things for the United States War Dogs Association. May God bless you and may God bless the United States of America. Thank you.